In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered today to celebrate the feast of St. Matthew the Apostle, as as a feast day in a moment we'll recite a gloria together. As we gather, we call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace peace to people people of goodwill. We praise praise you, you, we we bless bless you, you, we we adore you, you, we we glorify you. you. We We give give you thanks thanks for your your great glory. glory. Lord Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, Only Begotten begotten Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, Father, you take take away the sins of the world, world, have mercy mercy on us. You take take away the the sins sins of the world, world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle St. Matthew the tax collector, grant that sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift, And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their Their message message goes goes out through all the the earth. earth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day and night to night imparts knowledge. Their Their message message goes goes out through all the the earth. earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds and to the ends of the world their message. Their Their message message goes goes out out through all the earth. earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? 
He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel today, we're told that Matthew begins to follow Jesus immediately, and the first stop, apparently, is back at Matthew's house. And it's there that um, um, sort of the reality of, of Matthew's sort of interior life is sort of pronounced by Pharisees who see what's going on and declare that, look, this is a household full of sinners, and, you know, why is Jesus hanging around with them? And then Jesus offers, of course, this wonderful line, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. So if the same is true for us, when Jesus asks us to follow him, we should not be surprised that perhaps the first stop in following him is back in our own homes, in our interior life. And that the first thing that happens is, it's divulged, your house is a mess. Uh, there are problems here. And Jesus is response to that is, I'm not panicked. I'm not worried. I can work with this. And that's a great confidence to us. Uh, the first place that Jesus perhaps wants to go is deep within the recesses of, again, a place where we often mitigate and accommodate messiness unnecessarily. And Jesus goes there. There's an acknowledgement of what's going on. And he says, I can work with this. I can heal this. I can restore order to this. So today on the, the Feast of St. Matthew, we, may we not fear that uh, Jesus will, uh, in following him, will lead us back into our interior lives where he can begin his, his work of mercy and to bring about order out of chaos. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for the church, for Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all laymen and women, that by our growth and holiness this day, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for missionaries throughout the world, that God would equip them for what they need to preach the gospel with constancy in and out of season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for world leaders, that God will grant them wisdom and prudence to enact laws and policies that bring about true justice and peace in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We uh, pray uh, for our own faith communities and those who model the faith for us. May God give them the courage of St. Matthew uh, to follow the Lord without reservation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, and those under hospice care. We ask that uh, God will grace them with the ability to allow Jesus to enter into their interior lives, that he might restore order and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. We continue to pray for Nancy King, for Marty Gattin Mary Gatino, for Helen Byrne, for Mary Chipola, and for Morris Smith, whose funeral mass will be celebrated here this morning. May Nancy, Mary, Helen, Mary, and Morris's souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God find peace in the presence of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for Jim Buddy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you give us the courage of St. Matthew, that when your son calls, we follow and allow him to lead us into our interior lives where he can bring about mercy and healing to the disordered components of our existence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray. Grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.